Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me for the last in the series of In Memoriam videos where we have been honoring music artists from the 1970s, 80s, and 90s who are no longer with us. In this final video, some of the artists we'll honor were not mentioned in the previous videos in this series. Join me in honoring them today. Before we begin, I'd like to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Each one of you count. And it means so much that you would take the time to join me and help me surpass 200 subscribers. I look forward to more joining us as we get on the road to 1000. If you like this video, click or tap the thumbs up button. Leave a comment. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great content. Share this video so that others may honor these artists as well. And now let's begin. Sammy Davis Jr., born Samuel George Davis Jr., was born December 8, 1925. He died May 16, 1990, at the age of 64 from laryngeal cancer. Two of his well-known hits were The Candy Man and I've Gotta Be Me. Tyrone Davis was born May 4, 1938. He died February 9, 2005, at the age of 66 from complications of a stroke. Two of his well-known hits were Turn Back the Hands of Time and Turning Point. Easy e of N.W.A., born Eric Lynn Wright, was born September 7, 1964. He died March 26, 1995, at the age of 30 from AIDS-related pneumonia. The well-known hit was Straight out of Compton. Gwen Guthrie, born Gwendolyn Guthrie, was born July 9, 1950. She died February 3, 1999, at the age of 48, from uterine cancer. Her well-known hit was Ain't Nothing Going On But The Rent. ZZ Hill, born Arzell J. Hill, was born September 30, 1935. He died April 27, 1984, at the age of 48, from a heart attack. Two of his well-known hits were Down Home Blues and Bump and Grind. Phyllis Hyman, born Phyllis Linda Hyman, was born July 6, 1949. She died June 30, 1995, at the age of 45, by her own hand. Two of her well-known hits were You Know How to Love Me and Living All Alone. David Jolico of De La Soul born David Jude Jellico, was born September 21, 1968. He died February 12, 2023, at the age of 54, from unknown causes. The well-known hit was Me, Myself, and I. Quincy Jones, born Quincy Delight Jones, Jr., was born March 14, 1933. He died November 3, 2024, at the age of 91, from unknown causes. He was known for producing such hits as Michael Jackson's Thriller album and composing such theme songs as the theme song for Sanford and Son and Soul Bossa Nova for the Austin Powers movie. Willie Roy Sonny Killebrew of the SOS Band was born February 8, 1948. He died April 26, 2024 at the age of 76 from unknown causes. Two of the well-known hits were Take Your Time and Just Be Good to Me. Nina Simone, born Eunice Kathleen Wayman, was born February 21, 1933. She died April 21, 2003, at the age of 70 from breast cancer. Two of her well-known hits were To Be Young, Gifted, and Black, and Center Man. Richard Street of The Temptations, born Richard Allen Street, was born October 5, 1942. He died February 27, 2013, at the age of 70, from pulmonary embolism. Two of the well-known hits were Just My Imagination and Papa Was a Rolling Stone. The holidays are right around the corner. So check out the links in my description box for great gift ideas. 
If you want to take a journey back and listen to some of your favorite artists, hit the link in my description box to stream Amazon Music Unlimited, where you'll have access to millions of songs. The first 30 days is free. After that, you can continue to stream for only $10.99 a month. Or if you're like me and you still like CDs, check out my picks. Check out the links down below in the description. Here is a list of groups I found with more than one member that has passed away. BDP, Boogie Down Productions. Two of their well-known hits are Stop the Violence and You Must Learn. Miss Melody, born Ramona Parker, was born March 21st, 1969. She died July 17, 2012, at the age of 43, from unknown causes. Scott LaRock, born Scott Monroe Sterling, was born March 2, 1962. He died August 27, 1987, at the age of 25, from a homicide. The Gap Band, two of their well-known hits were You Dropped a Bomb on Me and Party Train. Robert Wilson was born December 21, 1956. He died August 15, 2010, at the age of 53, from a heart attack. Ronnie Wilson was born April 7, 1948. He died November 2, 2021, at the age of 73, from a stroke. The Hughes Corporation. Their well-known hit was Rock the Boat. H. Ann Kelly, born Hubert Ann Kelly, was born April 24, 1947. She died July 20, 2023, at the age of 76, from unknown causes. St. Clair Lee, born Bernard St. Clair Lee, was born April 24, 1944. He died March 8, 2011, at the age of 66, from natural causes. Fleming Williams, was born December 26, 1943. He died February 15, 1998, at the age of 54, from unknown causes. The OJs. Some of their well-known hits were Love Train, Backstabbers, and For the Love of Money. Bill Isles, born William Carvin Isles II, was born January 4, 1941. He died March 28, 2019, at the age of 78, from cancer. William Powell was born January 20, 1942. He died May 26, 1977, at the age of 35, from cancer. Parliament Funkadelic. Some of their well-known hits were Atomic Dog, Make My Funk the Be Funk, and Mothership Connection. Phelps Catfish Collins was born October 17, 1943. He died August 6, 2010, at the age of 66, from cancer. Ray Davis, born Raymond Davis, was born March 29, 1940. He died July 5, 2005, at the age of 65, from respiratory complications. Malia Franklin, Born Rosalind Malia Franklin, was born March 1, 1952. She died February 5, 2010, at the age of 57, from unknown causes. Tiki Fullwood, born Ramon Fullwood, was born May 23, 1944. He died October 29, 1979, at the age of 35, from stomach cancer. Glenn Goines, Born Glenn Lamont Goines, was born January 2, 1954. He died July 29, 1978, at the age of 24, from Hodgkin's lymphoma. Fuzzy Haskins, born Clarence Eugene Haskins, was born June 8, 1941. He died March 17, 2023, at the age of 81, from complications of diabetes. Eddie Hazel, born Edward Earl Hazel, was born April 10, 1950. He died December 23, 1992, at the age of 42, from liver failure. Robert Peanut Johnson, 
was born October 16, 1947. He died March 12, 2017, at the age of 69 from unknown causes. Cordell Boogie Masson was born October 16, 1952. He died April 18, 2013, at the age of 60 from unknown causes. Lucius Tall Ross was born October 5, 1948. He died January 3, 2024, at the age of 75 from unknown causes. Gary Scheider, born Gary Marshall Scheider, was born July 24, 1953. He died June 16, 2010, at the age of 56, from lung cancer. Calvin Simon, born Calvin Eugene Simon, was born May 22, 1942. He died January 6, 2022, at the age of 79, from unknown causes. Belita Woods, born Belita Karen Woods, was born October 23, 1948. She died May 14, 2012, at the age of 63 from congestive heart failure. Bernie Worrell, born George Bernard Worrell Jr., was born April 19, 1944. He died June 24, 2016, at the age of 72 from lung cancer. Debbie Wright, was born June 18, 1951. She died October 12, 2017, at the age of 66 from unknown causes. The Pips of Gladys Knight and the Pips. Two of their well-known hits were Midnight Train to Georgia and Neither One of Us. William Guest was born William Franklin Guest. He was born July 2, 1941. He died December 24, 2015, at the age of 74, from congestive heart failure. Edward Patton, born Edward Roy Patton, was born August 27, 1939. He died February 25, 2015, at the age of 65, from a stroke. The Staple Singers. Some of their well-known hits were I'll Take You There, Let's Do It Again, and respect yourself. Cleotha Staples was born April 11, 1934. She died February 21, 2013, at the age of 78 from Alzheimer's disease. Pop Staples, born Roebuck Staples, was born December 28, 1914. He died December 19, 2000, at the age of 85 from a fatal concussion after a fall. Yvonne Staples was born October 23, 1937. She died April 10, 2018, at the age of 80, from colon cancer. The Whispers. Two of their well-known hits were And the Beat Goes On and Rock Steady. Nicholas Caldwell was born April 5, 1944. He died January 5, 2016, at the age of 71, from congestive heart failure. Gordy Harmon was born June 1, 1943. He died January 5, 2023, at the age of 79, from natural causes. Marcus Hudson was born January 8, 1943. He died May 23, 2000, at the age of 57, from prostate cancer. Honorable Mention Freddie Mercury of Queen, born Farouk Bulsara, was born September 5, 1946. He died November 24, 1991, at the age of 45, from HIV-AIDS. The well-known hit was Another One Bites the Dust. We honor the memory of these artists who are no longer with us. May they rest in peace. Thank you for joining me for today's video. I look forward to bringing you more great content. If you like this video, please tap the thumbs up button. Leave a comment. I want to know who is your all-time favorite artist? Are they still active? What is your favorite song or style or genre of music? Subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can know every time I upload more content. Share this video so that others may honor these artists as well. I wish all the best to you and yours until we meet again.